Hi, welcome to Lectus Training on Sunday Readings. Today we'll practice for the readings of December 26th, the Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Our reference books tell us to read the first reading slowly to emphasize the lesson being taught. This is a didactic Hebrew poetry which is characterized by parallelism. That is, it tells the same thought for every two lines. The second line should be read like an echo of the first. There should be a longer pause between two lines with different thought units. Say, Sirach, Sirach, or Syrach, Syrach. Please don't forget the B here is not sounded. First reading. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, Take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted, against the debt of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The Word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be, and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, and walk in His ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, and walk in his ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. The first paragraph of the second reading should be read in an encouraging manner as this is an exhortation on proper Christian conduct. Emphasize each virtue, looking at different faces in the assembly as you read each of them. This is the most important virtue. Emphasize this. Your pace should weaken, should quicken a bit here.
proclaim this more slowly with great sincerity and maintaining eye contact. Give even and equal emphasis to each instruction. There should be a longer pause before you begin and proclaim this calmly, clearly, to emphasize the proper behavior of family members to each other. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bearing with one another and forgiving one another, if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love. That is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you are also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as is proper to the, in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children so they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. That's it, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Join me again next week for the readings of January 2, the Epiphany of the Lord. Until then, goodbye and God bless you all. Again, thank you.